Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are well. My name is Ali from Sage Accounting, the YouTube channel. Uh, today's video, however, is not about Sage. It's about importing from Excel to zero in the bank account. So how we download the, the bank data or the bank statement in an Excel format from the bank and import it into zero. So it's very simple. I provided the details of this template that I've made um, in in the description below. You can just get that using the link below. Um, and then using this very spreadsheet, we're gonna automate the process of importing from, from Excel into Zero Bank. Okay, very simple, right? So I've got an example spreadsheet of um, a Santander bank account. All these numbers are just arbitrary guys in, in the descriptions as well. So. The first thing we want to do is copy the date into this column. Okay, ignore this data. This is just the example data, guys, and it's, it must be there. Do not delete it. If you if you get the spreadsheet, do not delete this data. Just leave it in there because you can replace this data, right? So I'm going to leave this data in there, but I'm just going to basically copy the new data and paste it here. Paste, and I'm going to paste it as values, all right, which is paste option and this option here paste as values okay brilliant next one i'm going to go to description and copy the whole thing and paste as values again again uh reference you can leave this empty or you can just provide your own references um in this example i'll just use flat one one oh one one oh two considering that this company is a property management company but you can use whatever references you want or not. It's it's entirely up to you. The money in Santander Bank and a lot of other banks provide the, the spreadsheet in this format where they have a column for the money in and a different column for money out, uh, which makes this job easier. So I just need to copy and paste the data in here. And same thing for this data. Right, this column, guys, is um, basically just formulas, right? That's why I've highlighted it in, in yellow. Just need to bring this formula down. There you go, right? Bank name. Um, I highly recommend you guys filling this up as well to specify exactly what bank it is, right? So Santander Bank, and it may be beneficial for you guys to provide a, uh, you know, the last four digit of the account number as well. So just basically bring it all the way down, right? Uh, for the balance, what you guys need to do is put the opening balance in this column, column L, and basically bring this data down here all right then what we want to do is specify what transactions we want to import into zero so we want to click we want to type import next to the transactions that we want to import okay here you go um, obviously, in this example, we're importing the whole statement, right? So we click on export, and what the spreadsheet has done by clicking on, clicking on export is that it has created a file which is named Bank Import 19th of April 2020, and uh, that's been created in the same folder where I've saved this template spreadsheet. I hope that makes sense. In whatever folder I saved this spreadsheet, that's where it's created a CSV file for me to import into zero. Okay, very simple. Now we go into zero, excuse me. I'll have to create a new bank account for you guys because this bank account I've already used for some other test work. Um, I have to create a new bank account, Santander UK, and account name should be test account Santander. Every day, zero one zero one zero one zero one. There you go. Okay. 
test account. This is our test account. What we can do is manually import a statement. Now, I know that this is saying that we can get the bank feeds, um, but guys, this is going away, as you know. And for a lot of other banks, um, it has already been taken away. So these, these feeds are no longer available or they will soon be no longer available. Okay, At least at the time of making this video, a lot of these banks have taken away, but apparently Santander haven't. So I click on import a statement, browse to and point to the location where I saved that spreadsheet, double click and import. And the first time you import it, guys, it will ask you to map um, the, the zero fields with the fields on the spreadsheet. So on the left-hand side, you've got the fields on the spreadsheet. On the right-hand side, you've got fields on zero. So the date should be mapped to transaction date, description to description, reference should be mapped to, re to reference, which zero hasn't done automatically for me. So no problem, I can just do that for, for myself. Um, in should not be assigned, guys, should not be assigned. Out should also not be assigned. Amount, yes, amount has to be assigned. Okay, so remember, date, description, reference should be assigned and the amount should be assigned. None of the other fields should be assigned. They should everything else should be unassigned. Okay, and you only have to do it the first time around, guys. You don't have to do it every time. Okay, zero will remember your preferences the first time you do it. Okay, and there you go, and that is done, guys. Once you have imported it, please make sure that you write done in front of the items that you just imported, because. I would like, I would recommend that you use this spreadsheet as a master sheet of your bank and the new items basically can be um, expanded here. If you don't want to, no problem, don't, you don't need to guys. Um, but I just find that this is a, this is a really good way for me to, to keep an eye on these things and basically uh, uh, make sure that I'm not importing duplicates and I'm not missing out on any transactions, okay? Um, so that's it guys, and then, uh, and by the way, feel free to create your own, own version of this spreadsheet, I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm just indifferent. Um, but I hope you like this video, and if you wanna buy the spreadsheet, I'll put the link in the description. Um, and then if you have any other comments, please put them in the comment section below, uh, and like and subscribe to my channel too, I really appreciate the support. Um, and if there's any other uh, thing you would like me to cover, please let me know and I'll, I'll make sure that I, I create a video for that. All right. Thank you guys. Have a great day.